do the honors this time. Uh, pour us all a glass and let's see what we've got. Okay. It's very aromatic. It is, it is. Very, very floral. And there's a, a certain greenness about it though too. It speaks more Syrah too. I was going to say Carmenere or even Cabernet Franc. Cabernet Franc is known for having really pretty floral aromatics, quite big, a little bit of that herbaceous note. Well, Carmenere can also be known for that as well. Yeah, I think Carmenere tends to be a little a little mm -hmm. greener or a little, mm -hmm. but a little stickier too, right? It's, yeah. It's still yeah, it can. got really, really nice acidity and freshness to it. What do you think, Bruce? What's your instinct say? You do see a very distinct, fresh leafiness, almost borderline menthol. But I don't think it takes you as far as Carmenere. I hope not. And it doesn't have that color. It doesn't have that vibrant, that deep and vibrant purple color that Carmenere normally has. It usually has grittier, a little bit more grittier tannins. This yeah. is actually rather refined. refined. Although I have s tasted some more modern examples that have a little bit less green, a little bit more on their base side, yeah. a little bit smoother around her. They're really nice. trying to yeah, put you on the spot. I like yeah, that. Yeah, they're really... Uh, I, th I think she's being sneaky, though. Somebody's, somebody's going to guess Carmenere before I do. <laughs> <laughs> Going to, back to first reaction was more of a floral mm -hmm. Syrah and just the tannic quality too, like the tannins aren't particularly gritty, mm -hmm. you know, they're rather refined. And Syrah, you can, yeah, and you can do that with Syrah. Can you like pour me a splash more? Of course. I don't want to taint myself handling the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Because I don't know, the Cab said... Franc is really interested too. There's a distinct dilliness. But is the dilliness from the fruit, or could it be from, from the wood? the region, yeah. I feel like we shouldn't sit with it too long, because like you said, Bill, it's all about first instincts. Bill, why don't you take the honors? Really? Okay. And guess I'm first. I'm going to think about this for a second. Because I don't think it has the acidity of a Cab Franc from France. So anyways, I'll, I'll go with my initial Syrah. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite good. I, I would say, should we be dealing with a Crows? I think you got something there. She can't tell you. <laughs> well, she, no, but she's like our, our mentor here. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, Sarah, you gotta help Sarah. <laughs> yeah, so I'll go, uh, I'll go maybe a Crow's Hermitage. All right, all right. Uh, 25 bucks, 2010. Since I was so committed to Carmenere now, I'd be ashamed to back out. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to say a Chilean uh, Carmenere, um, perhaps from Colchagua. And I think that it's not as recent due to the color. So I'm going to say 2009, and I'm going to give it a price of $22. Okay. To tell you the truth, I, I, I locked in and thought I'd play the odds, and uh, uh, I'm leaving it at a Cabernet blend, mm -hmm. but I am saying uh, Chile whether it has Carmenere in it, possibly it does. But I'm always surprised that Chile has the restraint that makes me almost confuse it with Bordeaux. But there is still a bit of torrefaction that makes me think Chile. Uh, I'm going to say Maipo to cover my bets a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but I have to be fair, I like your Colchago gas a lot more. And for vintage? To wait. 18.95. Okay, so it's a, a Cabernet Sauvignon from California, actually, a 2010 from Santa Inez. What do wow. you think about this, Bruce? I think it's a pretty smart product. Again, funny, the second Californian product we've seen that shows restraint, mm -hmm. especially from Santa Inez, Central Coast, is normally an area where you, you get wines that are, you notice the alcohol more. I won't say this is, a, this is shy in alcohol, but it's also alcohol that's nicely integrated. So a bit of a surprise bottle. Bill and Sarah, you both closed out the round with two points each. Uh, Bruce, you got a bit of an advantage because you sort of called the Cabernet blend. Mm -hmm. Do you feel good with your four points? It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Myself and wine.